Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to find photographs Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to find free the Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of a great tool that students can use to find free photographs to use in their projects. And I'll show you how you can put this tool into your own website so that students don't have to go anywhere but to your own website to find great photographs. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. First of all, it's Photos for Class. You'll find it at photosforclass.com. It's recently been updated with stricter filtering, which is good news for most people watching this video. And we'll take a look at how it works. Let's say I need a picture of a cat. So type in cat and you can see here's a whole bunch of cat photographs. And let's say that I like this one here of this little cat. Well, I'm gonna download that cat picture and you'll see it's going to download right there and when i open it at the bottom of it you'll notice that it has the attribution information automatically added to the bottom of the photograph for me very helpful for students so that they don't have to copy that information down and save it somewhere else they have it saved directly with that photograph now you could have students just go to photosforclass.com and find pictures that way. And for many kids, that will be fine. But you can also put the Photos for Class search tool right into your own website. So go to the bottom of the photosforclass.com page and select Add to your site. And you'll see here, you can add it with a little logo but the logo is just going to direct students to Photos for Class. We want to actually put the search tool into our website. And in this case, I'm going to use the small search box. If you have a different style of website, you might use the large search box. Either way, the process is the same and it works the same way. So let's copy that code that's provided. Copy it. and. Let's say I'm gonna use it in my sample Google site here. I'm gonna go over here to the embed option in Google Sites, choose embed code, paste in the code that I got from Photos for Class, click next. Yep, it looks right. Let's insert it. And you can see now I can resize it accordingly. And I can even drag it around on my page. I can see Photos for Class right there. Now, I might even do something like write in some additional text above it and say, hey kids, use this to find photographs. But I'm just going to publish the site right now. And let's view that published site. And now let's look for a picture of a cat. And there we are. So that's how you can use Photos for Class to find free images with attribution information to use in your projects. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.